Saturday morning yoga class indoors at our own place, finding our sit bones, finding our place of comfort on our mat. Uh, so all this um, um, uncertainty uh, is good and it drives us into finding what is, uh, what is real, what is not changing. Everything whirling around and changing. We uh, need to look for uh, Vida uh, in, in Sanskrit, uh, the, the true knowledge. The true knowledge is the only thing that doesn't change is our true self. And so, uh, and that is the same self that's always been with us when we were two to when we were 60. That self has been there. Everything else has changed. Our bodies change. Our thoughts have changed. Everything else has changed, but that has not changed. Uh, there's a wonderful mantra um, in uh, Sanskrit, uh, Asato Ma, uh, may I be led from what is untrue to what is true. And so if we live in that truth, we can find solace in all the changing that's happening outside. In uh, recovery, there's a serenity prayer that tells us we accept what we cannot change. We can't change that there's a virus and there's changing happening in our workplace and all that. But we, uh, we have the courage to change what we can. And changing what we can, doing what we can uh, by practicing good, uh, good health, you know, building up our immune system uh, with uh, regular practice of like waking up in the morning and scraping the tongue, uh, drinking warm water uh, with tea and ginger throughout the day, eating uh, rich foods like uh, ghee and uh, uh, figs and things like that that, that help build our, our tissues. If our tissues are, are strong, then we're able to uh, um, have the strength to uh, get through any kind of virus that we may or may not get. So we do what we can, and then the wisdom to know the difference. We have uh, understanding that there, you know, another thing that hasn't changed is that our, our higher self is there, our higher consciousness. So today uh, uh, in yoga, we try to uh, connect our breath with our movement. Uh, so today we are going to practice uh, so hum uh, movement. As we inhale, we'll think so. As we exhale, we'll think home. So, so home. And this, uh, that is uh, the loose meaning of that is uh, uh, I am truth. Uh, or I am Shiva. Um, so there's a lot of different meanings to that. But, uh, it's nice about Sanskrit. It, you know, it's not nothing that we can think about what the meaning is. We just do it, and um, our mind can get out of the way. So let's go ahead and uh, bring our attention to our heart space. We'll bring our hands to our heart. Set an intention for ourselves what we'd like to get out of this class. Where the rest of our weekend is going where our life is headed, where are we going to go with this precious life that we have. We'll bow our head to that intention for our higher purpose, our inner teacher, great bright light that we are, and we'll raise our head and we'll say namaste. So I didn't uh, uh, get any uh, response of what we want to work on today. Um, I, I see Alice is here, so I know she likes to do core. Um, so we'll, we'll do a little bit of that. We'll also work into a, 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 this being this the springtime of the year is a space element time of the year. So uh, doing twists and things like that helps support our 
tractors. It has a inside meridian is a liver meridian. And the uh, IT band is a gallbladder meridian. So by working those two things, we're working into our space element. So let's start connecting our movement with our breath. As we inhale, we'll think the so, lifting our arms up. As we exhale, think the word hum. So hum. Inhale and so. Exhale and hum. Since you're by yourself in your, your own room, you can even say it out loud. So Home. So, exhale, bringing your left hand over to your right knee, twisting to the side, and home. Inhaling back up into so, exhaling into home. Allow this to become a meditative exercise as well. Inhaling up a so, exhaling over to the right, hum. Opening up our thigh body. Inhaling and so, exhaling, hum. Inhaling up, bring your hands to your shoulders. Let's go ahead and rotate our elbows. Warming up our shoulder area. And we'll go the other way. And then bring your hands to your hips. We'll practice because uh, springtime's coming and we know there's a lot of weddings and we have to get ready for the chicken dance. So we'll uh, inhale, we'll bring our shoulders forward, and exhale, bring it back. And uh, I'll try not to sing this chicken dance song, but you can think of that in your head. Inhale and exhale, and quickly to your nose. Sorry if that uh, song is in your head the rest of the day. I apologize for that. So grab onto your knees. Inhale as you go forward. So exhale back home. So home. So home. And go the other way. Allow your movement to help your breath, and your breath to help the movement. Connecting our mind and our body with our breath. And then we'll come to center. Let's go onto our side, onto our table. Your hands underneath your shoulders, your knees underneath your hips. Just sway your, your hips side to side, warming up our hip flexors. Maybe making a circle out of your hips. Maybe go the other way. And then coming to center. And as you inhale, your so, you drop your stomach down, lift your head up, look up to your third eye. As you exhale, round your back, bring your head to your, down towards your chin, your chin to your chest, into home. Inhaling, so. Exhaling, home. Inhaling, so. Exhaling, home. And do three more at your own rate of breath. Maybe as much as you can, like you're bringing your stomach
stomach underneath your rib cage as you exhale. Bring in your lungs as you inhale. Heavy uh, your eyes and your arms uh, facing each other. And then we'll bring our right leg back behind us. Stretch our left arm forward. Using your core for balance. Have your back foot active like you're pushing against the wall. Think of the silk hum as you breathe in and out here. And then on your next hum, bring your elbow to your knee. Inhale, sell. Exhale, hum. Inhale, stretching. Exhale, rounding. Inhale, stretching. Rounded. Stretching out and then reach back, grab onto the back of your ankle, push off your hand, hook your thighs, twist, twist. Missed a twist at the beginning, but another twist. And then let go and move back down to the table. We'll do the other side, so stretching your left foot back, right arm forward. To sunbirds if you're in California, or bird dog if you're in Alabama. Switching in both directions. And as you exhale, rounding. Elbow, inhale and stretching, exhale and rounding, inhale, stretching, exhale, round, inhale, stretch, exhale, round, inhale, stretch, and reach back right onto your foot, push your foot into your hand, turn to the side. So uh, tucking your toes under you, spread your fingers out wide, and lift up into our down dog. Pushing one knee down, one heel down, and then the other. Walk our dog, working into our calf and our Achilles tendon. This helps with uh, any kind of foot problem you have. Look if your shoulder is going down your back. Lift up your hips even higher, melting your heart towards your thighs as you send both heels down. Your ears should be on the side of your arms. Your drifty or gaze should be at your toes or your navel. You can look in between your hands, step your feet away from your hands. And then we'll go around in waterfall, going around your feet, and your hips high to thigh. And then bend your knees, lay on your thighs, grab your elbows, shake your head like you're saying yes and no.
wearing lighter clothes. Uh, my Zen background, I always prefer darker clothes, but uh, just wearing something bright and uh, feeling a sense of joy. So we'll do a uh, breath of joy. We'll do three inhales and then one exhale. So breathing three times through your nose, exhale into your mouth. which is said to be the muscle of the skull is our psoas. We'll do some lunges today because our psoas is where we hold a lot of our fear and our anxiety right into our pelvis region which is where our first chakra is. So let's uh, go ahead and do a sun salutation. Sun's not really visible quite yet, but we know it's up there. Um, just like we know the sun is inside of our heart, even though the clouds of our regret and fear and resentment, everything might be clouding it, we know that light's still there. First, let's lift up our toes, and lift up our heels, lift up our toes, lift up our heels, lift up our toes. Lift up your heels and lift up your arms and so. As you exhale, bring your hands down and hum. Lift up and so. Exhale and hum. Inhale and so. Exhale, hum. Move your heels down and lift up your arms. Inhale and so. Exhale, swan dive down, hum. Inhale your head up, bring your hands to shins and so. Exhale, fold, step back into the plank, and all the way down your belly, and a hum, one hum. Inhale, so. Into a cobra. And exhale, through the down dog, and your hum. Three more inhales and exhales. Let's see if you can do a really long so, a really long hum. Come up in between your hands. Step your feet in between your hands. Inhale all the way up. Bring the energy of the universe to your heart space. Let's inhale our arms up. Exhale, swan dive down. Hum. Inhale, so. Exhale, hum. As you just step your right foot back into a lunge, push your heel back, bring your knee forward, working into our psoas. And this way, opening up our foot. Bring our knee down and come up. And once again, as we inhale, lift our arms up into the cell. Exhale, and then down the hum. You can change your hips down a little bit more. Inhale the cell. Exhale the hum. Inhale the cell. Exhale, bring your hands on the inside of your left foot. This might be where you want to be. Be an option. Second option would be bring your foot hand to the side, push your knee out. That'd be a second option. Third option might be coming down onto your forearm into dragon. Feel 
three dragons. Rigor dragon, lion dragon, sleeping dragon. And then we'll all come up and straighten out the leg in the runner lunge, bring your toes up and lay over top your leg. Again, that's working into your IT band. And bending your knee, lift your back knee up, and we'll go ahead and step back into plank. Exhale all the way down. Inhale into cobra or up dog. And exhale into down dog. And your hips pony. Stretching out the spine in your down dog. Abs, your Achilles tendon, your hamstrings. And look in between your hands, step your feet up between your hands, and all the way up. And bring the energy of the universe back to your heart. The other side, so inhaling up, so exhaling, humming, inhaling, so back straight, exhaling, fold, step your Left foot back into a lunge. Push your right knee forward. Push your left heel back. Opening up. Lifting up so that your back leg. Don't let it sink. Stretch out. Well, now we'll just go ahead and bring it down. Bring your knee down. Point your toe and come up. And see if you can sink down a little bit more. So you inhale up. Inhale down. Inhale up just so. Exhale down. Inhaling up. And exhale down. And one more time. Inhaling up. And then placing your hands on the inside of your right foot. And again, remembering our three options. We can stay here. This is a nice stretch. Bringing your left hand to the side, push your right knee out. Lion dragon, that's a nice stretch. Or we can come down on our forearm. Or sleeping dragon. And working into our psoas deeply. Stretching our quad on this side. Stretching our hips on the other side. And then we'll come up, straighten your leg out, bring your toes up, and lay over top your leg. Doing your IT band opening. Go ahead and bend your knee, tuck your back toe, lift up your knee, step back into plank. And exhale all the way down. Inhale into cobra. Exhale, down dog. Take three breaths here. And look in between your hands, step two between your hands. And hold it up. Our arms up. Exhale, swan dog down. Inhale your head up. Exhale, fold. Step your right foot back. And bring your right heel down. Bring your feet on the inside of your left foot. Lift up your right toes. Coming into a side plank. <laughs> hey. I'll wait till everybody gets caught up. We can't see your feet. Oh, they're up. There's really not much to look at. I really need you to get a pedicure. Okay, so now we'll put our right foot down. And then we'll go over to the other side, lift up our left toes, come into side.
side run to this side. And then we'll come up to the middle, bring your feet out, draw your, your head down. Wide leg forward fold. Bring your hands up your legs, your elbows up in the air, come up halfway with flat back. And exhale, fold over again. Inhale, halfway to flat back. Using your abdominals, exhale, fold. And inhale, all the way up. We point our left foot forward. And we'll go right into warrior two. So you don't want to be in the future. You don't want to be in the past. Right here in the present moment. Listening to an effort to pull a the other day, and he was talking about experience and the things that are happening. And things in our world just happen, and it's our narrative that brings us problems. And no matter what we're feeling, if we're just feeling them, letting them go, then they're fine. But our narrative. Uh, makes them more complicated. You can see that in a, um, if you ever watched a sporting event without the uh, announcers going, it's a whole different experience when you turn up the, the volume and listen to the announcers and all of a sudden they're real excited about somebody getting further down the field and all those kind of things. Then your, your emotions get involved. If we do that in our life, then uh, it's a whole different experience just by being. Okay, so we'll bring our palm up and go back into Exalted Warrior. Holding back a little. And then coming forward, bring your hand on your thigh. Inhale to lift your arm forward into so. Exhale, bring your hand back, look back toward your and watch your hand as it goes back and forth. Going forward in the cell. Exhale on the hum, going back. So. And hum. Bring your leg out. Reach out. Pull your hip back. Reach, reach, reach. Can't reach anymore. Come down, lift up your other arm for an asana. Push off your front leg. Open up into your sternum. And bring your top arm forward. Open up your bottom arm. Use your bowels to come up. We'll bring our foot the other direction, coming into warrior two on this side. The knee should be right above your ankle. Be a groin's opener, so your wrists are above your, your heel. Reach down into it, gazing over your front finger. Ready to manifest the power of God today in your warriors too, whatever that means to you, in your circumstances. What are the things we can change today? Can we show people kindness that we can do? Can we show ourselves kindness by taking good care of ourselves? Bring your palm up and lean back. Exalted warrior. Pushing your front 
knees forward, and then coming forward, bringing the hand on your thigh, the other hand sticking out, looking at your thumb, watch your thumb as it goes back. Exhale on in the hum. Inhale and watch it as it goes forward into the still. Exhale on the hum, looking back. Inhale and in the still. One more time, exhale on the hum. Inhale and in the still. And straighten your leg out, slide your hand, your knee, your ankle to the floor. Straighten your leg, but have a slight bend in your knee. You don't hyper extend. Give you more stability. Reaching up for our trigonasana. Remembering to breathe our so hum, even in our trigonasana. Bringing your top arm forward. Lift up our bottom arm. Use the abdominals to come up. And bring your toes in, your heels in, your toes. Take all that out. We will go ahead and uh, do, a, do a dancer for our um, balance pose today. And uh, maybe we'll go into warrior three after that. Strengthen our quadriceps. The answer uh, stretches our quads and strengthens them on the one side, and then warrior three will certainly strengthen our quads. So uh, your feet, feel as if there's a triangle on your feet. There's two ends and one to your heel. So you want to put all your weight on that triangle. And then you lift up your right foot and bring it around. Just to find a sense of balance, finding a gazing point, something that's not moving. And then lift up your right foot, reach back. And maybe this is where you like to be today. It's a nice stretch for your quads, strengthening your other quad. And lifting up your arm, and push your foot into your hand as you come forward. Most of you look like you have walls. If you have a wall, you can uh, put your finger through the wall. You can lift up your knee even higher. But then we're going to go ahead and let go of our foot, bring our top arm forward, and then to warrior three. We're going to go into half moon after that, but I don't want to, it'll be cruel. <laughs> but because we are all in isolation, we don't have much to do. You can always take a nap, a hot bath and a nap after you go to class. And that'll be a nice way of spending your Saturday afternoon. So uh, yeah, do the same triangle on the other side. Two uh, points here, one at your heel. Feel as if you're pushing down in your triangle, bringing your left foot around. Okay, and then reach back, grab the back of your foot. Lift your arm up. And then push your foot into your hand, come forward. Physics thing. The more you push into your hand, the easier it is to go forward. So now we're going to let go of our foot and stretch our arms forward. Push. Make sure your back foot is active as you let go. Come forward for warrior three, and then come up. Okay. Let's take all that out. We're going to do one more crazy thing for our uh, quads to help with our knee strength. We're going to do a, a, a 
one-legged chair. Uh, so again, you know, you're at home if you just like to sit down, turn off the video, and watch and laugh. It's okay with me. But if you like, you can take your right ankle over top of your left uh, quad, and then bend your left knee, and then bring your arms up. Nice way of working into our quads. And then straighten your legs out and fold forward. Keep your spine a forward fold. And then we'll come up into the other side. All your weight on your right foot. Left ankle over top of your right leg. Right above your knee. And this foot goes active, then bend your right knee and lift your arms up. So our one-legged chair, feeling mighty in our posture. If we can do this, we can do darn near anything else that might happen in our day. And then we'll come up and then fold over. And then coming up, bring your left foot over top of your right, and sit down. Or however which way you can get down there. <laughs> uh, so let's go ahead and uh, uh, do gate pairs. So coming up into our all twos, and for our IT band. Creating space. Stretch your left leg out. Slide your hand down your leg. Bring your other arm up and over. And inhale, bring your hand up, bring your up your leg, your other hand down. Exhale in the hum, going down your leg. Inhale, aiming to so. Exhale and slide it down in the hum. Inhale, so. Exhale, hum. You can pull your shoulder back and look up to the ceiling. You can take two breaths here. And then we come up and fall back toward our back heel, lifting up our left arm into shooting star, creating space, claiming our space, our space to exist, our space to grow. And coming up, we'll do the other side. Stretch your right leg out. Slide your hand down your leg as you bring your other arm over. And inhaling up into so. Exhale down, hum. Inhale so. Exhale and hum. Inhale so. And exhale and hum. We'll hold for a couple breaths. Looking up to the ceiling, if that feels okay. Pulling your left shoulder back. And inhaling up, falling back towards your heel on the left side, lifting up your right arm. And as you lean back, see how much space you can create. When we create space, we're creating a sense of um, gratitude for things that are that are that will come. We're
discussing the universe. And if we have enough space, we cannot have worry because nothing can, can uh, touch us. So we'll bring our hands behind our back, push your pelvis forward, drop your head back into a modified camel. Drop your head back and work into your trip chakra. If you're happy here, that's fine. And maybe you like to bring one hand down to your toward the heel, maybe the other, coming into full camel, pushing your pelvis back, lifting your heart upward, dropping the head back. one hand and then the other. We'll bring our big toes together, our knees apart, stretch out into a extended child pose. You bring your forehead to the floor, bring it down there, and take your head like you're saying no. Working into your intuition. Here, into our sitting position, we'll do just a couple boats. So we're bringing hands underneath your knees, leaning it back, maybe your heels come off the ground. So we want the, our, our core to be strong because our cages are there, and our fire of our life just burns and hot. And straighten your legs out. And let it go, your knees, gazing at your toes. Remembering the breeze, go home. Go home. And bring your heels an inch off the ground. Lift up your right heel and lift up your left. And drop your right, drop your left. Lift them both up. And bring them down, leaning back, bring it come up, leaning back, and come up, bring your knees into your chest, and then let go one more time, and coming down. So we'll go ahead and bring our left foot straight, our right foot in the inside of our left leg. Slide your hand down to your calf, your ankle, maybe your toe. And push your heel out if you have your toe. Have a slight bend in your knee. You can take a towel underneath your knee if you like. You don't hyperextend. And just allow your hamstrings to soften. Take your right hand, bring it over your head toward your left arm. Look up to the ceiling. Paravita Sanusirasana. And we'll come up from here the other side. Straighten out your right leg, bring your left foot to the side, the inside of your left right leg, and just slide your hand down. Again, you could be to your shin, or you could be your ankle, or you could be your big toe. Certainly don't want to overstretch your hamstrings. But get to a place where you're feeling a little tension, and just let it soften. Bringing your left hand up and over your head, reaching out towards your right arm, toward your right foot, looking up to the ceiling. 
forward and let it go. Push it forward and let it go. Push it forward. Reach underneath your left leg. Draw all your knee in towards your chest as you push down your lower back. Feeling it into your right gluteals. And then straighten out your left leg. Lengthening up our hamstrings on the left side. Again, bringing your lower back to the floor as much as possible. And let that go. Bring your left foot down. Let go of your leg. Slide your right leg over top of your left leg. Like a lady might sit. Bring your arms up and see your cactus. Lift up your left foot. Drop your knees over to the left. Look over your right shoulder. If that feels okay on your neck. You can use your left hand to push down on your right knee. Do a deeper twist. have it, come back up, come all back onto your back, put your right foot down, bring your left ankle over top of your right knee, push your left knee forward and let it go, push it forward and let it go, push it forward, reach underneath your right knee, pulling your knee in towards your chest, and you can rock side to side if you like, if you have some sciatica issues going on. Might be a good thing to do. It opens up into your gluteals. Major and minor gluteals. Or your sciatica nerve goes through. Then go ahead and straighten out your right leg, pushing your heel to the ceiling. Take your 
hands is our, your hip and then short stays there. Those are getting knobby and want to come up on its own. And then lift up your left leg and draw it over top your right. Pulling on your left leg to pull it up towards your head. Or if you have a strap or something, you can use that as well. And then bringing your leg back up. Bring your leg down. Bring both knees up in the air. So both feet are on the ground. Your arms next to your body. As you inhale, lift up your hips. Bring your arms over your head and toes. As you exhale, bring your hips down. Bring your arms forward and hum. So, lifting up your arms and hips. Home, bringing your hands down, your hips down. Inhaling up so. Exhaling down, hum. Now we just lift up our hips, bring our shoulder blades together, bring your hands together underneath our sit bones, baby. Imagine you're holding a block in between your knees. You lift up your hips. For our highest expression of our bridge pose. Push off your heels. Lift up a little higher. Maybe engage your glutes. Bringing your chest towards your chin. And learning to breathe. We'll lift our hands, come down one vertebrae at a time. Get to the bottom, stretch your legs out, bring your arms over your head, stretch them in both directions. And coming forward, allow your feet to fall to the side, palms next to your body, find Savasana. Allowing each exhale to be a deeper surrender, a deeper letting go inside yourself. This is from uh, Marion Williamson. Today I claim the power of love. Let me cleave to love in moments when I am tempted by fear. May I remember that there is nothing love cannot do. There is no feeling, circumstance, situation, or relationship so filled with fear that love cannot transform it. May my mind be so aligned with love that its power within me feels natural. I yield or wield the power of, to work miracles with humility and grace. Just for today, there's no situation my love will not transform. If I look at everyone through the eyes of forgiveness, I claim the power that love brings with it to deliver my world from fear to love. Today I do not just believe in love, I claim its power as my own. As we lay in our Shabbasana, let us open up to the love grace that's coming down from above. Feel as if we are an empty cup ready to receive love, grace, power.
gratitude. Coming up into a third position. I want to thank you all for being here this morning. So good to see your faces. Wish I was there so I could get a hug. I just know uh, uh, virtually there's a we are connected. Uh, time and space doesn't doesn't matter. Uh, so we are in this together. And together we can get through this. So we'll end our practice with a vibration of Aum. We'll say three Aums. Bring in your thumbs to your sternum so you can feel the vibration as it comes up from your first chakra up to your third eye. Exhaling fully, clean the Shishuma, inhale deeply. Aum. Shanti, 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 please, 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 please for my past, please for my future, please for my present, that I might take the peace that I have and make an offering to this world so desperate in need of peace at this time, being the light in the midst of our darkness. And we open our eyes, soft gaze, and we'll say namaste. Go ahead and unmute yourself. There's a little red button down there.